Georgetown has another controversy on its hands. Next week, it is set to host the Palestinian Solidarity Movement in a conference, as part of a conference, on problems in the Middle East. Others will be there as well. Now, some believe that organization, that Palestinian organization, has terror ties. Joining us now from Oakland, California, Lee Kaplan, investigative reporter and from Washington, Dr. Daniel Porterfield, Vice President of Public Affairs at Georgetown. All right, Mr. Kaplan, we'll begin with you. I never heard of this group. I mean, are they terrorists? What do they do? Bill, the Palestine Solidarity Movement, which also goes by the name the International Solidarity Movement, is a consortium of American anarchists and communist groups allied with the PLO, and they're on almost every campus in America today. You don't hear about it because, like most Americans, you work all day and you don't pay attention to what's going on on the college campuses. But this movement has been growing since about 2001, ever since uh, Yasser Arafat was trapped in the Mukata, when a young man named Adam Shapiro, who was unfortunately of Jewish descent, got together with some Arab communists from the PFLP, and they started the Palestine Solidarity Movement in the United States. And it the international solidarity movement when they go overseas and act as human shields for Palestinian terrorists. All right, so, but they're not designated by the State Department or anybody else as terror groups, are they? Well, they're not designated as terror groups because they don't walk around with rifles, but what they do do is they provide logistical support and raise money for the terrorist groups overseas. All right, it's kind of like what the uh, government accused Sami al Arian of doing, um, and he was uh, acquitted of some of those charges in Florida. All right, now let's get to you, doctor. Um, do you know about the group? Are you concerned the group is coming to your campus? Now, let me say that the uh, students, uh, the, our, our Students for Justice in Palestine, a student organization, uh, are the ones that extended the invitation at the student conference. And our, our students do have the right, as our faculty do, to invite speakers um, to publish articles. They do have, they do have a free speech rights at Georgetown. Um, when we heard about the conference, we did contact the FBI and the State Department to ask if the organization had any ties to terror because, as you say, Bill, most of us had not heard of them either. And the government, federal government has been very clear in telling us there are no ties to terror here. Okay. Now, if ties to terror were proven, um, if what Mr. Kaplan says is true, that they provide uh, material support, sometimes financial support, would Georgetown turn around and say, you're not welcome? Well, I think that would be very significant, yes. You know, we need to know what the exact facts are, of course, but you know, we have no interest at Georgetown University in, in allowing people to come to campus who are supporters of terrorism. All right. Now, Mr. Kaplan, Dr. Porterfield making a good point that if the FBI and the State Department are saying, look, they're not on our terror list, it is a freedom of speech issue, we do want on all our college campuses to have wide diversity of opinion, even if they are communists, um, what would you say? Well, first of all, Bill, I would say freedom of speech does not include the freedom to lie or to present false uh, information in a college setting. Basically, uh, what these, this, these conferences are is they are not academic conferences where ideas are discussed. They are strategy and training sessions, and it says that on the Pal Solidarity website, where they train in how to uh, teach other subversives in the United States and recruit people on the campuses to go to the West Bank and interfere with the Israeli army fighting uh, terrorists. Uh, um, also, they are pushing the Arab boycott against Israel, which is illegal by U.S. law. They are also pushing divestment of Jewish-owned businesses in America. It's really an anti-Semitic hate fest inside, even though they do have some Jews in their movement who are very virulent anarchists and communists. All right. Now, uh, uh, doctor, are you going to be monitoring if what Mr. Kaplan is true, uh, saying is true, that they're trying to recruit people to go over to the West Bank and cause trouble? Do you going to have people watching them? Now, we will have members of our uh, student affairs team, some faculty monitors, who, faculty who really don't have any involvement in the actual issues, just, just you know, everyday university citizens, as well as, of course, security personnel who are at the conference and who are ensuring that the conference adheres to our speech and expression okay. policy, and because, also the protesters do. Mr. Kaplan, I understand, you correct me if I'm wrong, Mr. Kaplan, you went undercover at Ohio State University to one of these seminars by the Palestinian Solidarity Movement, did you not? Actually, actually, Bill, I did better than that. For the last three and a half years, I've done extensive research on this group. I actually went through one of their training programs. I have their training manuals. Okay, but what the I'm White interested in is what you found out at Ohio State, because look, if these guys are going in to Georgetown or Ohio State or anybody else 
and they're doing something illegal. And you said on my notes here that they were at Ohio State, they were training, they explained how to put a good face on suicide bombers. Is that true? Exactly. Exactly, Bill. And the other thing is, at the Duke conference, which was the last one they held, Hawaida Araf, who was Mrs. Adam Shapiro, one of the founders of the movement, actually admitted that the ISM cooperation works with uh, Hamas, Islamic Jihad, and the Popular Front for the Liberation of Palestine. Anybody who uh, has a chance to read my articles on frontpagemagazine.com will see that uh, the uh, ISM, which is the same as the PSM, also uses PFLP trainers over in the West Bank in Gaza. Now, the Patriot Act specifies that lending any kind of logistical aid or working with terrorists is illegal. Now, the FBI is probably concerned with people running around with bombs. I'm not saying that they do that. Yeah, but you've got to give the Georgetown a break in the sense that if Georgetown has asked and received clearance, I mean, they can't go undercover. But I'm concerned, and I, get, I bet you you're concerned too, Dr. Porterfield, are you? Because if, if what Mr. Kaplan is saying, and these people are really bent on destruction or aiding destruction, I mean, you don't want them on your campus. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I know some of the students who are involved in, uh, in extending the invitation. I have no doubt those students have no involvement in those kinds of activities. Um, in terms of people who are coming to the campus who we don't know, you know, we will, we will be on the site. We'll monitor the activities. If something inappropriate happens, we will take action. All right. By the well, way, we, we also... Go ahead, oh, I'm doctor. sorry. Uh, we also, we did contact, you know, Duke and Michigan, which had uh, sponsored the conference the last couple of years, and we asked them, what experiences did you have? What lessons did you learn? And so, you know, we'll be watching very right. closely. Well, so will we, gentlemen. <laughs> so, uh, Bill, uh, uh, I think combination, if these people get out of line, we will be able to uh, slap them down. Gentlemen, thanks very much. We appreciate it.